Um, but the efforts go in this direction. How, how's that for uh, being sure of what they're doing? In 1999, the first time I interviewed him, I said, what is the role of the regulatory agencies in the Financial Stability Forum? And he said, the U.S. probably has the most diverse regulatory structure there is. It is very complex. The U.S. has a very antiquated regulatory system. Well, no, we don't have an uh, antiquated regulatory system. It just doesn't match with total control. Why is that? We have eight separate uh, regulatory agencies. We have the SEC, regulates the securities industry. The Federal Reserve controls the uh, banking and financial system. The Office of the Comptroller of the Currency oversees federally chartered banks. The Federal Housing Finance Agency uh, oversees uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. The state insurance departments, uh, as I mentioned earlier, oversees the insurance industry of their state. The Office of Thrift Supervision oversees thrifts. The Futures Trading Commission oversees futures, options, and derivatives. And FDIC ensures your bank deposits. So both Obama and the blueprint, Henry Paulson and Bush, will put all of these agencies under one roof with accountability and control to the Federal Reserve. Does anybody understand the agenda here? Uh, let me just show you the pre-blueprint um, if you take a look at the diagram on the left, you have the U.S. government in charge of credit unions and state banks. Actually, it's the states in charge of insurance, but it's uh, out of the, the other one. Uh, mortgages, nobody controls mortgages. The payment and settlement system is controlled by Wall Street. And then there was something new called the market stability regulator that they want to make the Federal Reserve um, this new entity that will control the new entity that will control the uh, market. And what happened is that the blueprint said the Federal Reserve has to control the credit unions and the state banks, the insurance industry, the mortgage industry, the payment and settlement system of Wall Street, and become a market stability regulator. In other words, this is a major, major shift of all the assets of America that are not directly under the Federal Reserve control to be shifted to the Federal Reserve. The blueprint and Obama's plan are the same. They've changed, tweaked a few things, but they're both the same. The blueprint transfers to the Federal Reserve the last vestiges of our economic sovereignty that they currently do not have control over. With the passage of the blueprint by Congress also comes a global regulatory structure. They just threw that in for fun. There is new change in Washington. It's a complete structural change and it's not Obama. Excuse me, Obama doesn't have the power that the central banks have. He's just, like all the other ones, a tool. All right, so we're now going to talk about structural change number one. The Federal Reserve and Treasury take the lead, leaving our lawmakers out of the major decision-making process, setting precedents. You may remember 